guys welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea and i'm getting ready to head out because i have to go to main post um i have a few things that i have to do hold on this is loud anyway i have a few things that i have to do one being i have to go to the hospital so i can pick up um a prescription refill for my eye drops for um, my eyes the one that actually helps me see so I need to go ahead and go and pick that up because I'm I'm running out like I'm down to a few drops and then I also have to run up to s2 because guys I'm trying to take a trip with one of my friends in March and it's out of country my first out of country trip ever and I'm super excited but one I've been stressing because I haven't been able to make it up to s2 because when i came off leave is when i was supposed to turn my entire packet in but they extended my convalescent leave because my eyes weren't acting right and then i ended up with covid so i've been out for a few weeks and now it's about to be the end of january that's crazy but what they're telling us is i needed to have my leave in 90 days in advance for approval and so my okay I'm about to start using military terminology as if people know what that is. But when I'm turning in my leave, it can be approved on my, it can be approved by my battalion. It can be approved by my unit commander, but because I'm taken out of country leave, it has to go up to battalion. Battalion was on leave for holiday block leave. So they rewrite all the requests to brigade. I go to brigade, brigade tells me that they can't initiate my leave because whoever initi initiates the leave have to be the ones to close out the leave. And because by the time the leave was gonna be closed out, she would have been back, she has to be the one to start it. I'm telling them, I'm like, but my 90 days is coming, like 90 days, I'm, I need to have this in before January or I'm not gonna make it. She goes, oh no, that's just for Africa. That's just for people that's going to Africa. You have to have it in 90 days in advance, but since you're only going to the Dominican Republic, you should be fine to have 30 days in advance. So, I've been in the process of trying to get all my paperwork and stuff together. That way, all I have to do is walk in there. Because y'all, i literally been stressing. Did my just break? <laughs> i literally been stressing because I can't find a number on this to anything just to like run it by them to see if that's even something I can do. And now that, um, I need something. Mm, what do I need? <clears throat> But now that I can't even, I'm distracted. I can't even get on the military websites that I need to get on to put in all the paperwork that I need. Um, do the the little trainings and stuff that I need, like the anti-level one terror or whatever. Um, it's a bunch of different things that I need that I can't get access to right now. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to head on post so I can stop at S2 just to even see if I would be able to take leave or if you know it's too late I'm gonna see if there's anything they can do given I was out on convalescent leave as well as on isolation because I had COVID hopefully there's something that can be done because I'm texting my friend and from out from what I'm being told I should still be able to go the thing is I'm going on this trip okay it's either they tell me yes or I'm going on this trip I don't know how but I'm going on this trip so and I'm not even doing anything with my hair I'm trying to hurry up because it is oh my gosh okay it's about to be 15 it's about to be 1500 I'm sweating already and I'm pretty sure it's the start of a four-day weekend so I'm just hoping that somebody is actually there in the office this freaking ponytail, I, whatever, it's not turning out right. Um, yeah, I also have to stop at the post office because I have a freaking textbook that I rented from my school that's over, it's a month overdue at this point. Um, I have to hurry up back and where is my, I have paper towels. I have to hurry back so I can do Mia's hair because I'm dropping her off to her dad's um, tomorrow. She's going to spend the four day weekend with him. So, busy. Oh, and then with school, guys, I decided that I'm only taking one class this semester. I actually have until tomorrow to drop the other two classes that I was going to take. I was going to take intro to social 
um, microbiology and general chemistry, but just the lecture. I'm going to drop microbiology and in intro to social and just take the um, just take the chemistry class because I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out from everything. I mean, content creating, school, work. Like I am burnt out, and it don't feel. I don't feel bad. I just honestly. I'm probably not even burnt out. I just feel myself getting close. And I have my friend constantly telling me, he's always, you need to take a break. I don't understand why you're always working so hard. You always work so much. Here's a question for you. You need to take a break. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break. But I'm at this point where I'm rushing out the door now. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get in the car. Y'all, I sit here thinking it was cold outside i mean it is a little chilly but it's definitely not this cold outside but oh i still think i'm looking kind of cute so let me show you my outfit real quick i got on my gemini necklace you can't even see that but i have on my gemini necklace with this long sleeve tan taupe turtleneck thing um this teddy coat which is super cute and then some mom jeans some birth mom jeans and my white can you see that uh, my white guest shoes here but yeah let me go ahead and go somewhere and i'm gonna take this off this tripod set this here okay there is something else I'm supposed to be doing. What is it? What is it? Oh. What is this? There's something else. I have my ID. I have my debit card. Oh. Okay. I got my other debit card in here. I need my passport and my COVID card. Okay, why is there a cereal in there? Okay, I have everything that I need. Y'all, I'm sweating. Look at this. Look at this. I'm always sweating so bad. Oh, the kitties. There are some gorgeous cats that run around here. It's so sad that they're alone. Well, just out here in the elements. But... Okay, so hopefully it's not too late for me to turn in this pass because y'all don't understand. I'm so excited about this trip. Like, I'm so excited about this trip. I've been working extra shifts and stuff just so I can go on this shit, on, on this ship, on this trip. So I'm hoping they tell me I can go. I hope it's not too late to turn in my packet because wait, uh, wait a minute. I just forgot the whole damn packet. Okay, I gotta turn around now. God dang. I have this here, so I thought this was my packet, and it's not. This is my freaking counselings for my soldiers. Their monthly counselings. I just love S2, and it seemed like I'm gonna be able to go. I had to pull the sob stories like yeah i had to go on extended convalescent leave and and then i got covid so i just haven't had time because she even just said the same thing when you ask for a conus leave they usually ask for 90 days but she said just come in tuesday like i was planning on doing anyway um get everything turned in and then they can just start the process from there so i should be good this freaking um from over here don't nobody got time to be recognized here <laughs> but um yeah this thing retainer is making me lisp like crazy i hope you can hear it and my camera don't want to act right anyway what was i just saying this retainer is making me lisp like crazy i can feel it and i can hear it and i know i'm probably going to be able to hear it when i'm editing this video oh 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 is that me me. Okay, 
so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to go to the hospital and get my eye drops but I'm also going to stop and get a print off of my positive COVID results because the daycare called to do a little welfare check on the kids I completely forgot that I'm supposed to call and let them know that they're not going to be there so if you if your kids go to daycare and they haven't been there in a few days they'll call like hey we haven't seen them what's going on are they okay but they basically said I may get a discount may get a discount um since we're out due to covid so i'm about to go ahead and get that print off save a little money keep a little money in my pocket now i'm trying to figure out this is not going to stay here i'm trying to figure out what's the closest way hmm. i feel like this is the closest i'm gonna go this way side note completely unrelated i do not feel good not sick wise but my anxiety is through the roof for whatever reason. I have no clue why. I don't know if I'm forgetting to do something. Am I supposed to be doing something? Did I hurt somebody's feelings? Like, I feel awkward about something and I don't know what it is and it's driving me crazy. Like, I can't even explain it. You know how you wake up and you just feel like you're forgetting something like you're for either forgetting something you're supposed to be doing something you like there's something and I cannot for the life of me understand why I feel like this in my heart it's just beating too much right now and I'm sweating like <laughs> oh, this life I don't know why I get like this it's so stupid I hate it so much mm, gosh I seriously hate when I get like this like this is this is unreal and I hate it so much like I said in one of my last videos I just I have a lot on my mind and even though it's nothing that you know I'm I feel like I'm juggling it pretty well but I don't know why like why do I feel like this why do I feel like this I feel like I'm I feel overwhelmed but I've taken so much off my plate why do I still feel so overwhelmed and I hate it so much. There's no reason I'm sweating this bad and it's kind of cool outside. It's 54 degrees outside. It's 54 degrees. Look at this. And this is how I get like my whole body be sweating like crazy when I feel like this and I hate it. I hate it so much. I be taking so many showers. It makes no sense like, oh. I'm drained so I literally be having to take a breather before I walk into like anything these days so that's why I'm literally sitting here ranting just talking passing time because I have to walk into this hospital and that is it's over there too but okay I'm ready I'm good let me okay I have my ID is there anything you know what let me just take this whole thing I forgot my freaking phone last time Y'all, one safeguard that I've been doing though, I've been putting my AirPod in my ear and I would like listen to music really low while I'm walking around. That way if somebody says something to me, I can hear them say stuff to me, but I'm not all in my head and I'm like singing to a tune. <laughs> low key that nobody else can hear, so. When I got the tight tees, and now I gotta move. Oh, I hope I'm in focus. I don't know. My eyes are blurry again. They get like this at night, but I kind of finished up with my stuff earlier. I didn't get my freaking um, eye drops I needed because. Okay, where am I sitting in this? I didn't get my eye drops I needed because people are dumb. And I feel like I need more cup holders. Hold on, let me get situated. Jeez. I didn't get to get my eye drops that I needed so badly because they told me that they were ready. What was your point of telling me that they were ready if they weren't really ready and so they wanted me to sit there for 30 minutes to wait for them to get ready it's like oh my eyes are burning it makes no sense to me but 
that really irritated me because I really need those freaking eye drops. Um, so I don't know, I guess I'll try to get them later, but I just stopped at the restaurant. I got my Thai teas. They are so good, it's so good. I honestly need to stop drinking this because it's not good for my stomach. <laughs> it has a bunch of milk in it and dairy stuff. I've recently learned it just upsets my stomach. Oh, mm -mm. I'm not supposed to be drinking this right now. How you doing, man? Great, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Nice for your season. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, what the fuck is that? No, 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 nope, no. I gotta turn around. I gotta turn around. What the, f no. Nope, I didn't just, no. I gotta turn around. I don't know what I just saw. Yo. There's a cat, okay, watch how I was about to be gone. <laughs> Wait a second, no, there's no fucking way. Okay, I gotta turn around up here. It literally looks like a lion. Like, I can't make this shit up right now. Cause I definitely wouldn't turn around for a regular cat. Hold on. That was either a thick ass, okay. Wait a second. Yo, it's a thick ass cat over there. Like, it's as big as a dog, but it looks like a cat. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Like, it's a big ass lion, bobcat, cat. It's something over there. That just threw me off. Like, it's huge. Anyway, anyway, what was I even just saying? That like threw me completely off.